grade four math number 48 common factors okay we're going to talk about common factors now so let me explain what they are first a common factor is a factor of two or more numbers okay that some numbers share so let's take a look at this we have factors of six and factors of ten factors of six the numbers that we would multiply to get six would be one times six and two times three. The factors of 10 would be the numbers we would multiply to get 10, one times 10 and two times five. What do they have in common? They both have a one and they both have a two, don't they? So one and two are common factors of six and 10. See that? That's easy, isn't it? All right, so let's take a look and see what Emma's doing now, okay? Emma's putting old family photos in a photo album. She has 18 photos altogether. She's got 12 small ones and 6 large ones. How can she arrange them evenly? Well, what are the common factors for 12 and 6? 12 is 1 times 12, or 2 times 6, or 3 times 4. And 6 is 1 times 6, or 2 times 3. They both have a 1, they both have a 2, they both have a 3, and they both have a 6. So 1, 2, 3, and 6 are the common factors for 12 and 6. So she can arrange them with any one of those groups of numbers and she should come out okay. So she's got 6 large ones and 12 small ones. She can do 3 rows with one photo in each row and do the same over here and then that would be her 6 large ones. She could do 3 rows of two photos, one row, two row, three row, and do three times two, and then do it on this page, and then they would look nice and even, wouldn't it? She could also do it this way, where she just puts all the big ones, three times two, on one page, and four times three on the other page, right? But you know what? Four is not a common factor between six and 12. So this one wouldn't work, would it? She wants to make it so that she's using common factors. What about this way? What if she put three big ones up here and three big ones down here and then two rows of three on this page and two rows of three on that page? That would work. Those are all common factors of 12 and 6, 1, 2, and 3. All right, so if we were to look at this, and try to figure out what the common factors of 24 and 30 and 36 are. We want to find out what the common factors of these numbers are, okay? It's almost like an exclusive club that the common factors can belong to and no one else is allowed in, okay? So we need to figure out all the numbers that we can multiply together to get 24. 1 times 24 is 24, 2 times 12 is 24, 3 times 8 is 24, and 4 times 6 is 24. So those are all the factors of 24. They're the numbers we multiply together to get 24. Now we need to figure out the numbers that we multiply together to get 30 so that we know the factors of 30. 1 times 30 is 30, 2 times 15 is 30, 3 times 10 is 30, and 5 times 6 is 30. Those are the factors of 30. 36 has 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, and 6 times itself, 6. Those are the factors for 36. So now we need to figure out which ones they have in common. Well, look, they all have a 1 in common, don't they? They all share 1. Do they all share 24? No. 30 doesn't have a 24 and neither does 36. So that's not a common factor. Do they all have a 30? No. This is the only one that's got a 30. So that's not a common factor. How about the 36? Nope, he's the only one who's got it, so that's not it either. Look at, do they all have a 2? Yes, 2 is a common factor of 24, 30, and 36. Do they all have a 12? Well, 36 has got a 12, but 30 doesn't. So guess what? It can't get in. 
It's not a common factor. It's got to be for all three of them. Do they all have a 15? No, this is the only one with a 15, so he's not a common factor either. How about 18? Nope, not allowed. But look, they all have three, don't they? So three is allowed in. Do they all have an eight? Nope. Do they all have a 10? Nope. Do they all have a four? Well, 24 has a four, but 30 doesn't. So four is not a common factor. Do they have a five? Nope. 30 is the only one with a five, so that's not a common factor. And 36 is the only one with a nine, so that's not a common factor. But they do all have a six, don't they? So now we can see the common factors for 24, 30, and 36. Can you see what they are? They're 1, 2, 3, and 6. So the common factors for them are 1, 2, 3, and 6. Those are the common factors for those three numbers. See? Just list the factors of each one and compare them to see which ones are common. All right. Emma's going to do some planting. She's going to plant some flowers in her garden. She got 40 plants. 32 are pink pansies and 16 are orange daisies. She wants to put only one type of flower in each row. She doesn't want to mix them. And all the rows will have the same number of plants. So not only will it be the same type and color, but it's going to be the same number in each row. So how many plants can she put in a row? Well, we need to find the common factors for 32 and 16. 1 times 32 is 32. 2 times 16 is 32. And 4 times 8 is 32. Those are the factors for 32. The factors for 16 are 1 times 16, 2 times 8, or 4 times 4. So what do they have in common? Well, they don't have 32 in common, do they? And they don't have... What else? Oh, look at this. They both have a 1, they both have a 4, they both have a 2, and they both have an 8. And they both have a 16. So 32 was the only number they didn't have in common. Now we need to figure out how she can do these rows if she's got 16 daisies and 32 pansies but she doesn't want to mix them up. She could put them into rows of 16. She could put them into rows of 8. She could put them into rows of 4. All right, so this is what it would look like. She could have a row of 16 pansies here and a row of 16 pansies there. That makes the 32, because 2 times 16 is 32. And she could put one row of 16 pansies down the center. That would be all 40 flowers and they wouldn't be mixed and they would all have the same amount in each row 16 16 and 16 she could also do this she can get eight rows and put four flowers into each row four pansies four daisies four pansies four daisies and just do it that way then they won't be mixed in the row and they would all have the same number in each row wouldn't they what if she did five rows of eight? Pansies, and then daisies, and then pansies, and then daisies, and then pansies. She would have her 40, and they would all have eight flowers in each row, and they wouldn't be mixed. So that's how she could plant them. So she's got three different choices, doesn't she? All right, so that's how common factors can help you when you're arranging things can also help you solve math problems. It'll help you with division because if you need to know that 24 and 30 have some number in common to be able to divide them, you'd say, oh, six, three, two. I can divide them by those, right? Okay, we're going to keep talking about division and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.